Good. How you been? Doing great. Good. See you shaved? Good. Yeah. So, what do you want to do first? Do you want to get taco lunch? Or do you want to go to the outlet mall and shop a bit? Oh, let's go to uh, the taco place before it gets busy. Okay. Well, we're going to get there about noon, so it is lunchtime, so it might, it might get a little bit busy. Okay. I miss you, buddy. I miss you too, bud. Good to see you. Yeah. Do you think I can use uh, a tiny bit of the hotspot today? Where? On my iPad. You mean from your uh, phone, or what do you mean? No, my iPad. The hotspot. Oh, from your turn your phone. You mean turn the hotspot on your phone and then use it on the iPad? No, just the iPad, not my phone, because my iPad doesn't use uh, the data. This car doesn't have a hotspot. Oh. It used to, but it was, it was expensive, so I, I turned it off. All right. And your iPad's not going to be using data anymore because it got a little thing in hell. Okay. Sorry about that, bud. It's all right. Stop on the way to somewhere. Okay. What you been doing? How I, have I been doing? I mean, what you been doing? Um. Just hanging, out. hanging out and play games and watch movies and stuff like that. Okay. So you got in your um, in the bag I gave your mom. You've got your gift card. Okay. From Amazon for a hundred bucks, and that the amount wasn't written on it. So your mom knows how to put that on your account. Okay. So and don't buy anything within your Christmas list because I already ordered it all for you. As a matter of fact, you should start getting gifts this week. So you found everything okay? Yes. All the poop games you like so much. Oh. <laughs> the only thing that may come after New Year's is okay. a Toy Story poster. Okay. <coughs> now I tried to have that come to the house. It should come to the house. Okay. So I did some thinking last night about some things. And I decided that get moving out and trying to get a new car at the same time is too much stress. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to hang on to this till the summertime. Because it really doesn't have to go back until July 17th. Okay. And I already know, you know, my, my goal in trying to get this, get rid of this was to get a lower car payment, save some money. But there are no lower car payments. I just got to do what I'm going to pay on anything. So there's really no point in me rushing to get rid of this because I really, I've got this until July. So hopefully by July, car prices are going to go down. What that means is the $10,000 we get from my project, um, we pretty much use as much of that, much of that as we want for the move. Okay. So on my iPad, I do get some downloads. Uh -huh. It's uh, it's for videos I can watch without data, so it's okay. good. I just curious what happened to the data and the yeah, it's turned off. I okay. mean, I, I, I'm trying to close out that Xfinity account. Now, if you want to add it to your Verizon account, that can be done. You just have to wait till we, you know, unless you want to go to a store with your mom and do it, Verizon store with your mom, we can do it when you get back in town if you want data on that. That's up to you. Well, let's wait until my new iPad. Okay. Well, your new iPad's your birthday, right? That's correct. Okay, no, that's fine. You want to wait? get it through Xfinity, or that we'll get it through Verizon. Well, I mean, if I get data on my iPad, uh, I can put it on my account, right? It should be yeah, yeah. Yeah, it can be part fit, of your bill. Fifteen dollars more, right? I think it's ten or fifteen. No more than fifteen. Okay, let's do that. They'll then. buy the iPad, I think, but because um, otherwise you'll have to make payments on it through Verizon, and that's that fifteen dollars is probably going to get closer to thirty-five. You should be paying for the iPad and your data. Okay. So. I'll, I'll find a way to pay for the iPad for you. I'll buy it for you as your birthday gifts. You're going to have to make payments on it. Let's buy it at Verizon. And then they can turn on the data and you can pay your 15 months full data. Is that what you'd like? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Please don't drop the new one, okay? The new one? When you get a new one, don't drop it. Oh, well, I will. I will. We'll get you a real good case for it, like OtterBox or something. A good protective case. 
the reason I broke my iPad was because I put it in the bad spot. Yeah, well, I said to be careful. That's yeah. Cool. I was getting a good case for it. Still yes. works, but yeah. Well, yeah, I guess. the screen's broken. Yeah. What I may do is, I mean, I know you keep all your electronics. Don't throw that away or don't put it on a shelf. I may replace the screen, and if I can use it, I might use it. And okay. you'll have them. We'll both have them. If that's okay with you. I can buy it off you, you'd be like 100 bucks for it or something. Now all the stuff, now I've had, this iPad you're going to use now, my stuff is going to be in it, right? No, I'll erase it. Sure. I'll start fresh. Okay. Yeah. But I'll see about, the speech, probably about 120 bucks. And, um, I mean, hang on to it now, keep using it until you get your new one. Sure. The only thing you can, is, is need to be fixed is not just the screen, it's the way the button, and that's, and that's oh, I'll it. Oh, i see if they can fix that too. So 
I want my clothes are a lot cheaper than a regular store. That's why we're kind of kind of built here. Okay. So your khakis for you are normally fifty bucks. They may have them for thirty-five. So shoes are the same way. Shoes. I got a Nike store there. We can go there. Um, shoes are normally six seventy bucks. We might get some there for forty. So it's, it's, it's a chance to save. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's not the store. And it's, they're not everywhere, but when you have them, there's all it's a big place, all kinds of stores. You know, and we can go to those. Okay. So if we go in the Nike store and you see a pair of shoes you like, um, you know, if you think you want to get a pair, fine. If not, if you want to, in this place, we always go buy them the way your mom's. So if you don't need them now, but you think it's springtime, sometime I take it to your mom's, we can stop there. Yeah, sounds great, buddy. And if we end up moving to this area, then it's closer or whatever. Sure. The outlet malls are different. And last time you and I were one, you were... We liked it. I think we bought you a shirt, a sweatshirt. You picked it out. You probably don't remember. You picked out, I think it was a green sweatshirt. You wore it for like three years. So good to see you. Good to see you, buddy. Mm -hmm. Excited to look for a new place. Yeah, me too. Every time I walk around Jeff's house, man, I'm reminded. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want I don't want to disparage him. He, he he brought us in when we didn't have anything else, so thankful, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah. you know, it's like I told him, when you've been living on your own for 30 years, like I have, suddenly you're have to room with somebody in, in, in their house, it's it's really super hard. So, you know, I made a list of cities. Just get us started. And there's going to be more cities we can add to it. Okay. So we can, I mean, when you come back, when you start really looking, you probably can't actually apply for something. I have a question for yes. you. This, this could be like the trickiest question at all. Okay. Does houses have sizes? Oh, there's all like small to big. Yeah, there's all kinds of different sizes. Some are tiny houses, some are huge, like man houses. Yeah, I know. It's like maybe in the future, if our family look for a big house. Mm -hmm. I know, it's like big house and a big house and a big house. I wonder if you have sizes and numbers in them or something. Not really a number size house. I mean, you could say small, medium, and large. But the way they usually refer to houses are like three bedroom, four bedroom. Five bedroom. The more the more bedroom numbers, the bigger the house. Mm -hmm. um, four bedroom houses are usually are good sized. Now there's a house. There's, there's mansions. You could say Nana and Papa's house is a mansion, and mansions are very big. Okay. And then there are some really tiny houses, like the ones we lived in in Birmingham, really small. Okay. I would say the last house we lived in was like small to medium sized. Okay. What, what, when it says I'm going to probably get a job, what size do you think I'm going to start with? Like small, with medium? you and I or with you? Me and you. Uh, uh, small to medium. Small to medium? I mean, I want to try to get three bedrooms. Most houses have three bedrooms. It's really hard to find a house with two bedrooms. So most houses at least have three bedrooms. Um, some have four. I don't think we need four, but if it's, if it's a good price... And there's a fourth bedroom. We'll make it a guest room for your mom to stay in, and, and I'll have an office. Because uh, yeah, that's what we three bedrooms would be for your bedroom, my bedroom. No, if we if pretend we want four bedrooms uh, and a, a finished basement, does mm -hmm. does somebody uh, help us do that? Or? Well, we can if we wanna. Yeah, well, you can go on like Zillow, and you can put all that information in, and it'll look for houses that that, that are are like that. Okay. Um, I will tell you that. Does it tell the prices? Of oh yeah. yeah. Okay. I will tell you that if you, if, if if we had a plan for four bedrooms and a finished basement, that's probably too expensive for us. Okay. Because that's a, that's a pretty big house. How much do you think it might that cost? Houses are more. Houses are pretty expensive. I would say we'd probably be looking at eighteen hundred to two thousand dollars a month for rent. Okay. Um, now, if you go there and you can find that same price, would you get it? If I would, if I found a place like that and it had that rent price, yeah, um, probably. Now, I know we from the past 
week. We find houses like two or three of them, right? Yeah, we'll try to find at least two or three houses to look at, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to, I really don't like looking at only one house unless it's absolutely perfect and the price is right yeah. to get it. Um, I mean, we looked at the last house before we moved into it. It was really pretty perfect for the size. And that's why I said, yeah, the rent's good. It was just down the street from us. I'd, I'd driven by the house a million times. So that was an easy pick. But now we're going to look at some in areas that we're not familiar with and things like that. Okay. We also have to look at, whenever you buy a house, you have to look at how much it costs for electricity, for heat, um, any other fees like water, because that, that all can add, five, that can add $400 a month to the cost of the house. Okay. I need to sit down, believe I got to do my budget. I got to make sure we can afford a house that costs that much. Okay. Um, because I, I hope to find out the next month if they want me to come on full time. I hope to find out at least in January what sort of projects I'm getting. My only fear is that in March they haven't brought me on full time yet and the woman who I was filling in for, if she comes back, then my work could go down a bit for a while. Um, it's all going to depend on how many hours I can do a week. That's what's going to determine what we can afford. I mean, if you can do, if you can put $500 a month toward whatever house we get, that's going to be a, a huge help. That way, after that, you'll have $480 left a month to do whatever you want. Okay. And plus, I'll probably get a job. So yeah, you'll have a little bit of money for a job. And that can help pay and stuff, too. Yeah, well, the, the 500 is going to be great. I mean, if you can Yeah, that, I can do that, yes. So that would help. That's I, can, I, I still have enough money for the bills and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. So that'll help. Yeah. That'll help a lot. So... But, you know, we're going to find a place, and we may, we may end up seeing a couple that we don't like. We may end up finding one that's too expensive. We'll find the right one. That's why you start looking early. You know? So we still look at it, right? We'll start looking second week of, uh, you know, for the first of February, so we'll start looking. All right. You know, nothing says that we can't move out sooner. If, if, because I'll have that $6,000, I ain't even had a two, we have 2000 of them for bills. We'll have $4,000. That's enough to move us. Um, I'll have that $4,000 in the next couple of weeks. That's going to go in the bank. So if by some chance we happen to see something, even in January, and it's perfect, and we look at it, and $4,000 will get us started in it, then we can do that. Um, you know, nothing says we can't move out sooner than that. But the only reason why I'm saying March is because I'm gonna I'll be getting more of the project money because they're gonna they're gonna they give me six thousand to start and then they're gonna give me uh, the other four thousand when I'm done. So if I you know if we wait till the fact that I'm done then then we'll have then we'll have ten thousand or eight thousand. We'll have eight thousand and yeah, that'll be plenty to move this. So yeah, but there's you know, there's logistics, there's packing, there is uh, getting the movers, there's getting the utilities set up, internet installed, all that takes time. So, but like I said, we'll be you know as soon as I get that money in, in the bank, we're going to be good. Going to the um, oh, taco place, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm a little bit bright and I think there's a rest stop before bright and we usually go there. Yeah, so that's that. Okay. But I really want you to come with me to look at all these places because you're, you're just, you're, your your opinion is going to be as important as I am. Now, I will, I will prepare you, buddy. Um, there aren't many places that have a closet as big as the one in your room. That's I hadn't even seen one like that until I came to Jeff's house, so probably not going to have anything that big. Uh, finished basement, you know, we'll have to see. Okay. I think we just need a clean basement. I don't think we need a finished one. A finished basement would be one you could go down and watch TV in. 
My carpet. That's my like carpet and paneling and lights. Now a clean basement. That kind of looks kind of inferior. Mm -hmm. uh, are you like saying like the place of the basement flooded? Yeah, that was a clean basement. Okay. Um, some houses are they're like ranch houses. They don't have basements. So and that's kind of good in a way because. Now what? No, John Kay's house. What kind of um, house size is that? Like that's that's large. Large. Never afford to rent a house that big. Four thousand dollars a month to rent a house that big. Yeah. And we don't need that much house. The only way we need a house like that is if Jerry's gonna move in with us. Nana passed away. Jerry moved in with us. Now we want to get a bigger house because he can he can some space. In the but but for just you and I, you know, we can have we can do a three bedroom house. We can do yeah. We can even do a two bedroom house if it had a big a real big living room big living area and then we get like a sofa bed for mom or I guess but ideally a three bedroom would be best I'd like to get I'd love to get a bath and a half which is a full bath in the shower and then a small bath like we used to have in the basement but I want to get it like connected to your room so you have your own bathroom now nice. is it now four thousand dollars a month for the rent mm -hmm. okay that's more than I got and that's a a, a large house Yes, that's like Johnny Case sessions. So, what? How about Jerry sells? What do you think much of the wind is there? How much would that cost? That house cost to rent? Yeah. Like five thousand a month. I think they'd probably get that for four, four, four or five thousand a month. Huh? That's if they rented it. I thought it could be ten thousand dollars a month. Mm. How many houses rent for that much? Unless they're mansions. Ten thousand dollar a month rent would give you a like an eight bedroom house. That's more than we'd ever need. So in the future, if we want to get Johnny's house, not in the same house, we occasionally mm -hmm. probably will cost the last five thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. Then that will be four bedrooms or three bedrooms, right? If we get a, a big house that have many bedrooms. No, let's pretend to say it. Okay. That'd be like four bedrooms, right? Yeah. You mean if you mean five thousand dollars a month? Yeah. No, that'd be a big house with four bedrooms. Five thousand a month it would be a big house. A yeah, big but, house. Yeah, but I'm asking how many bedrooms that would be there. Five. Five? Okay. Five thousand a month is, is, is pretty big rent. Or it would get you a very fancy four bedroom house in a very nice area. I mean when rent gets to that point, people unless someone's like just they unless, unless a person who works for a big company is making a lot of money comes into town for a year to work. Houses <coughs> that big sell, they don't rent. <coughs> Sorry. So, yeah, when they get to be that big, I mean, you're more likely for $5,000 to rent a very super fancy apartment in a big building. You know, it might be three bedrooms, it might be a huge ceiling and a hot tub and all sorts of crazy stuff. We just need something that's... Now, how do people get poor? Do they make it? Or they... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, sometimes they, they have a big backyard they'll put in a pool. So how do they make that? They have a company come in that, that does pools. Mm -hmm. There are companies that um, do nothing but install swimming pools. How much do you think that might cost? To... At least $25,000, $30,000 more. Did someone to do it? They gotta dig the back. Well, they gotta get permits from the city to dig. They gotta dig the backyard all out. They gotta haul all the dirt out with a big truck. Mm -hmm. And they gotta get it all organized. And they gotta. That's the kind of pool. They make pools now that are pre-made in a big factory, and you actually just stick it in the dirt. But no, that's a lot of money. So you wanna try to find a place that's got a pool already. Pools are more common out in California where the warm weather because they can use it all year round. In Michigan you only can use it for like five, six months. And then you gotta in the wintertime you gotta winterize your swimming pool, which means take most of the water out. You gotta cover it, put a cover on it. Um put the chemicals in it to keep it from growing turning into a swamp. You gotta do that every year. So pools are I mean every, if you have a pool you have to take care of it like every week. You gotta um, put the chemicals in it to keep it from Growing plants and things like that. You have to do it every week. I can filter out. Pools can take a fair amount of work. So, 
guys a lot of it. Florida, Arizona, New Mexico, California, Texas, Nevada. Warm weather climates. But there's some in Michigan. But if I had the lottery, you could definitely get out some cool. In a hot tub. Hot yeah. tub, you can go in all year round. You just uncover it, turn it on, you go up in the snow and you get in the hot tub. If I win 20 billion or one million or something, mm -hmm. that to work in, in my life? No, you can. Well, if you got like, how much? Pick a number. If you how much? If you want a million dollars? Um, you probably wouldn't have to work. You could probably take, after, because they take taxes out of that. So if you want a million, you're prob probably going to get 600, 500, 600 thousand dollars. That's probably not enough to live on your whole life, but it would it would make it so you really only work a tiny bit here and there. Okay. How about you get twenty billion? Twenty billion? Yeah. Oh, you have to do anything. You can lay around your bed all day for until you're old man. How about you have to, how about you take a lot of trips? So expensive. You take trips every every week of your life and you're not gonna really affect that money. Twenty billion twenty billion is a lot of money. money you could spend. If you tried to spend it all every day, you couldn't spend it all. There'd be more money in there. How about you buy a lot of toys? <laughs> oh, God. You have to be a gold. You could buy every toy in the yeah. world for that kind of money. It's a level on left. You have a house full of toys. It'd be like, so you open your front door and there's toys up here. <laughs> I'd probably get my YouTube channel back if I have that much money. You could buy YouTube. <laughs> yeah. William Tube. Yeah. You could hire a television company to make you a new YouTube channel. Yeah. Twenty billion dollars is a lot of money. I don't think a lot of people ever gonna get that big. You get four or five billion, or three or four billion. That's that's crazy money. A million dollars isn't as much as it used to be when I was a kid. As he was, a, he's got a million dollars. Wow, he never have to work again. Well, a million isn't as much as it used to be. It's still more than I have now. $500,000, I would set it up and put it in investments so it would make me money, grow money, and I would set it up so you get, you would have about 350 million, 350,000 would go to you, and that would be in a trust fund so that as you're going to be an adult, and then when I'm gone, you would have money to take care of yourself. Um, you still would probably want to work sometimes, but, and then I would have the rest to sort of help me in retirement. But it's not more than it seems like it is, but it's not. What, 20 billion? No, 500,000. No, no. Because in theory, if I make 100,000 a year, that's just five years of my income. But that's a problem I want to have. So this is us up here. I don't know, we're getting a ring in. Okay, sure. We're on Brighton. I forgot about that. Sometimes you pee your pants.
first person trick me pretty good so be not a spammer, but I was wrong. Yeah, kind of surprised to get my money back. Well, I didn't want to get in trouble. make those kind of stuff. Oops. Um, animation like uh, those. Maybe you can't well, that depends what I gotta find. I mean, I, I want to find how to make it. Well, how much the school's for? Yeah, okay. I probably want to do that. Right, I'm gonna run and go pee. I mean, there's one of, uh, I don't remember the name, was called Hunted Dirty Dollars, but. Oh, that's something you can do. Alright, keep the engine running, okay? Okay. Lock the doors. Don't uh, take off. I'll be back in about five minutes. All right, I will take off. I know you want to take off. All right, love you.